Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm joined by a very special guest today. <laughs> this is my daughter. Ellie, introduce yourself. My name is Ellie and I'm Emma's daughter, obviously. This is my <laughs> mum. Hi guys, so Ellie's 12. Um, we are face mask fanatics. We love a good sheet mask. We love a good peel off mask. And I was away this weekend and Ellie popped into one of her favourite shops, which is... The Body Shop. The Body Shop. And she came home with some new masks these are brand new from the body shop they are the anti-imperfection peel off mask and it just says add water mix mask peel off um they are i've got my little laptop and roux here just to read they're five pounds each so they're quite spendy for a, like a single use yeah. mask but um if they work wonders then money well spent right so they come in this little tub there's powder in it and you just mix it and on, on your face so it just says it instantly leaves skin looking clearer yeah. <laughs> uh, mattified and feeling decongested in four simple steps with our diy tea tree anti-perfection peel off mask enriched with community trade tea tree from kenya and it's vegan and fabulous why do you love the body shop this has like so much nice smelling products you know when you get like face masks and they smell like chemicals some of the like the soaps and stuff they smell really good Cool. Right, should we open them up? I'm scared. It says from with purifying tea tree from the foothills of Mount Kenya. I can't open oh. it. Right. Oh, there we Ooh. go. The first thing is the overwhelming Ooh. scent of tea tree. Like, that's tea tree, man. There's no mucking around with that. And it looks kind of like matcha powder, if I'm honest. Look here. It smells amazing. Oh, I'm no. What? I didn't read the instructions. What do you mean? We've peeled the top off and like how much water we put in, it's on the bottom. Is it on the bottom? That's a bit stupid. I thought it'd be on here. There's a line here, I'm guessing, I'm going to guess that we fill to the line, but it's a very, there's a very strong scent of tea tree here. It's all over my hands. And I bought some spoons with us because I figured, I guess you could mix it with your fingers, but you know, I've got a jug of water. Oh no. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm going to level that the line. out and fill it to the line, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I reckon that's kind of to the line. Give me your one. Oh, no. Let's show you. <laughs> what right. if it, you're not supposed to put it to the line, though? Well, then we've ruined it. Fill it to the line. I guess. Oh! And then I'm just going to mix. It says, I think I remember on the right. You should website. use the back of the spoon. Oh, right. And then, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Right. Mixy, mixy. Oh, I'm spilling it, but I kind of feel like you need to see, guys. This is weird. Oh, it's like thickening. Is your kind of? I love the smell. It's very green. I think I might have added too much water going. This is kind of satisfying. I have to say though. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it? I don't want to yeah. just like bung it on your face. Open it up and bung it on my face. It does add time to the whole. But then it's fun. Like it's another thing to do. Yeah, I guess so. And I, I, I suppose not always, but tea tree products and products aimed for imperfections sometimes are good for your age range and above. Yeah, so. and this is like a fun thing. So you're at like a sleepover or something, and you want to do face masks. This is fun. Yeah. Okay. For me, I'm like, oh, good, just put it on my face. Yeah, it's I think trick. it's looking nice. How, how long do you like? So how do we get it on the face? I think I, to be honest, I think I overdid the water. It's quite runny. Oh, now I'm regretting my t-shirt choice. Do we, do we just do this? I'm scared that we've added too much water because it looks really runny. Runny, runny, runny. God, it's like even the simplest of instructions. Yeah, no, but yeah, it's like I've got this. I couldn't find my makeup. I have thing. one upstairs. The you mar it. I stole it. Ah, uh -huh. that's it? why I can't find it. I'm gonna use this. No, you're gonna ruin my brush. brush. No, it's a mask brush. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, um, do you want to just just whack it on your face? No, I want to go upstairs and get it. Go on then. She's going to go upstairs. No, but where do I put this? We've, we've messed this up already. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Hold that thought. Oh, <laughs> oh I just flipped. Be careful. You've not 
to hold she's just got to hold table over. Has anybody got teens or daughters that are just you know, just sit down and knock over whole entire tables? Right. You've got a tool. Look how fabulous I look though. That's good. Like a rubbery tool. I'm just gonna keep going with this guy. I look fabulous. Oh I'm just whack it on the Oh dear, I think I think I might have added too it's much water. It's bubbly. Oh, it's very cold. <laughs> I did add cold water. Oh my oh. god, it's really <laughs> just true. My first impression is that yeah, we may have added a little bit too much water. But you this don't is see. Look at it dripping off your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is quite a drippy mask. The pictures online aren't like this. Do not look like well, this. What what online does look amazing? This. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story of when Ellie once came downstairs with half of her eyebrow missing. Half, literally. Thanks, boots. Half her eyebrow was gone. So I was looking at her face going, is this, is this a fashion statement? No, like, it's not. What is this? Don't do it. So it turns out that she used a, it was, I got it from Boots, so it wasn't Boots' brand, it was like a unicorn glitter peel off face that mask. It felt like glue. It was, when I, it smelt like glue, I felt it, it was like glue, but I still put it on my face, God knows why. So she whacked this mask on, got a little bit, well, evidently quite a lot on the end of her, her eyebrow. But it was like drippy, because it was like glue, like this, not like And then she peeled, once it had dried, she peeled, also known as Rip. Ripped off the face mask. It was stinging. It was like burning my face. So burning her face, she removed it, and the said mask also removed half of her eyebrow. So her friends at school, first of all, thought it was some kind of like gangster move. No, no, they they were wondering what I was doing with my life. So she had to fill in her brow for a little while. Right, this is kind of. Can you see how it's getting a bit? I can't thicker. put mine on. I might have to it's put yours impossible. on. Please. This is definitely. A lot. As time is going on, it's like this is thickening up. So it's obviously start, starting to dry and kind oh, of go oh, a bit oh. like, <laughs> almost a bit like. Slappy. Slappy on your face. Ooh. Ooh. It feels nice though. Right. That's all that matters. So it does. It, it smells nice. De definitely thickens up. Doesn't do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sack off the brush and I'm going to. Use this. Oh, it's much easier with this. I don't. I don't like. Yeah. It. Get get in there, girl. Ah! Oh, it feels like slime. It does feel like mushy peas. No. Why? 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 This looks interesting. It's definitely like hardening. 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 What's it called? It's easier. So my advice is smack it on your face. Just smack it. On. Wow. My face is like tingly a little bit. Is yours? No. This looks awful. It's hard. Just get it on there, girl. And then you have to let this dry. For how long for? Because it's quite wet. 24 hours later. Insert SpongeBob here. How, I don't. I can't, oh, oh. <laughs> it's hanging off my nose. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. Yep, yeah, smack it on my face. Okay. Oh, look at Ellie's. It's gone. It's definitely. Look, at, look, I just peeled yours off from the side and it's like smooth. Yeah, we, so you have to be hasty blah, blah, blah. with the application because this is definitely drying. Oh. We're not going to let you watch the whole drying process because that would literally be the most boring YouTube video known to mankind. We have, we have common sense, I think. What? We have common sense. Common sense? I think. I can't, I, I give up with this. I don't. Um, it's definitely drying down. My face is kind of tingly a little bit. How does yours feel? <laughs> Do you know when you like have something tight on your face yeah. and, and you move it around like that? <laughs> Slightly rubbery. Well, my hands are going to be perfect because it's more Look, on my you've hands You've got it all in your hair and in your eyebrows. So the rules of don't get it in your hair or the eyebrows clearly went down. Well, I, I think give up. You give up? Yeah. But it's fun to play with. It's a one-use mask, clearly, because it dries. But I think with the excess that we both have, Everywhere. that we probably could have got two applications. Like We could have shared one of these pots. I definitely think there's so much extra product. Unless you've got like a massive, massive, massive big face. <laughs> like a massive head. It's like those 
um, sheet masks that are like bigger than yeah. Anything. Who are those made for? Um, but I giants, giants. Unless you're literally a giant, I think that two of you could share one tub. Like that makes me. That does make me a little bit sad because that's a lot of wasted Wasteful. product. Um, and they're five pound a pot, so that's something to consider. And you can't obviously reuse it. I guess you could mix, like take out half the powder and mix half, but yeah. I think you'd want to do one pot for two people. Definitely, I agree. So next time, remember yeah. that. No. If there's a next time. Right, we're going to let this dry. It does say 10 to 15 minutes. It's kind of starting to turn a little bit rubbery. So I, look. Oh, Ooh. yours is working. Mine just looks like I've stuck mushy peas on my face. <laughs> we'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. But in YouTube time, we'll be right back. So it's been about three minutes. <laughs> And I have this guy. How does it feel? Uh, it feels like mine. Just like I've got mushy peas on my face, but it's mine slightly is, tighter. You know when you have like a sheet mask or a clay mask, and it starts to tighten and dry, and it starts to move around, and it gets a little bit like tingly and itchy and yeah, irritating. Yeah, like here. Like it's not irritating because of the ingredients. It's just irritating because of the the way it's moving. Um, it's starting to kind of shift and move, so it's feeling a bit like I want to get it off, but it feels cooling and it does feel quite yeah, fresh. It's cool. We'll be back. It's been about ten minutes. I think mine's pretty much ready to peel off. Oh, mine is much thicker than yours, so I think I might have an easier time than you. But we will see. It's starting to lift here, so I'm just going to start. Ooh, let me feel it. Peeling it off. It's kind of rubbery. Yeah, it's like rubbery. Oh. It's not like heavy. Like, look at that. It's still like it's it's rubbery it's kind instead of, of a slimy. Um, the, it, peel off mask is normally like plasticky almost. This is really rubbery. This is definitely going to be a wash your face afterwards. Oh, oh. <gasps> that's satisfying. What? Oh. Wow. How do we feel? What are our thoughts on this thing? My skin underneath, I have to say, looks really fresh and bright. And I even. feel refreshed. You feel refreshed? Yeah. I feel like it's quite a messy mask. It's fun. The most important thing for me is how my skin and my face looks afterwards and how it And if acts. my sink is blocked or not. <laughs> yeah, true. But how my, my skin reacts and, and looks and... Obviously, this is to draw out imperfections, so I'm going to be curious to see whether or not this kind of draws out any anything. Um, but I have to say, oof, my skin underneath is looking quite um, fresh. You're making the biggest mess. It's hard. It's not really peeling off for you. I feel like also you need to clearly put quite a, a thick layer on. Otherwise, you just get this mess. Mushy pea face. What not to do? Well, it's in my hair. Look at that. <laughs> this could be complete user error. Some pro someone's probably watching this going, you bunch of. And then you're gonna get comments saying, what? But you know, we like to use face masks. It seemed like it was pretty straightforward with the instructions. That's in my eyebrow. Here we go. Okay, so we've uh, washed off all the rest of the masks. I've done like my normal skincare routine and as my serums and moisturisers. And I added the um, tea tree moisturiser that the body shop do. And how does your skin feel? Re like really, really refreshed and like smooth. <laughs> yeah. Bruce. Oh, Br Bruce has come to see us. So for me, I find, you know, I found the whole process Hi. a little bit messy, a little bit time consuming, but I have to say, my skin feels and looks really, really nice. Like it, it looks brighter and fresher and it feels really smooth and really mm -hmm. lovely. So I probably would use this again, you know, I'm going to see how my skin reacts over the next day or two, if it does kind of draw out any imperfections or whatever. But, um, you know, I'm quite impressed. I think if the process was easier, I would definitely repurchase time and time again, but we'll give it another go. And I was reading um, what it said on the back, and it says like apply immediately so it doesn't proper dry out. Like what happened to me? Mine went a bit chunky. Yeah, because I, I didn't think going upstairs yeah. and then coming back down to to apply it. 
meant that it was already starting to dry out. So I think speed is important. Oh, oh like Lucy it. likes it. Ugh. So overall, what would you gonna give it out of a ten? Um, probably a six or a seven. A six or a seven. Yeah, I really liked it. A bit messy, a bit time consuming, but our skin feels and looks really, really, oh, really, really nice. So. <laughs> I'm oh. quite impressed. I think that's about it then. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or if you found the mess that we got into might be amusing, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our uploads. And if you want to see any other videos from us, maybe we could do like a face mask. A face mask Monday or something. But if you want to see us test out any other new face masks, then let us know in the comments. Have a wonderful day. Bye, Brucey. Say bye. And we'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Take care.